Greetings everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm your host Captain Rye and today's YouTube video is going to feature me once again. After almost two weeks of not playing World of Warships, I've finally come back and started picking the game back up. Now why have I not been playing for two weeks? Well, the answer is sometimes you just need to take a little bit of a break. Getting a little bit burned out, of course, playing, you know, multiple battles and just in general being so good while dealing with a lot of potatoes. In this battle, it's Tears of the Desert Domination Match Mode. I am in my Z-52, so of course it's a Tier 10 Maximum Battle. Now, after having not played more than about 12 battles over the last 14 days, I can honestly tell you that World of Warships is a perishable skill. If you don't log on and play regularly, or log on and play each ship class regularly, or certain ship classes regularly, you're going to forget how to play them, what they can and cannot do, and how to deal with situations. And I've been having that issue constantly. Now, as the battle gets underway here, I told the team that I was going to go to the sea camp point and that I needed support. As I've said in previous videos, the Z-52 absolutely is not a standalone destroyer because it tends to eat shells like nobody's business. You'll notice that as I'm in the sea camp point, I'm not capping anymore, and that tells me that one of or two of the enemy destroyers are over here. Now the enemy team has two Shimakazes and a Kagiro, I believe. And my team only has a Gearing and myself. So we do need to watch out for sneaky boats. Pretty much any other destroyer in the game can detect me well before I can see them. I get torpedoes off in the distance there, hoping to try and hit that Iowa maybe on the bow or some of the ships back behind. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like that was the case. Now, I left the sea cap point because as you saw there was a Minotaur or a um, Neptune back over there closing in. And while the British cruisers don't have high explosive, they're especially effective against German destroyers because... Armor piercing does just as much damage, it knocks out just as many things as high explosive. The Neptune also having radar, hydro, and fast reloading guns. Yeah, no thanks, I'm getting the hell out of there. The enemy team has managed to capture A and C, but we do have a cruiser that's now contesting the A cap point, and he is going to spot or has already killed the destroyer that was capping it. So we have secured our first blood, which is going to give us a little bit of a points advantage while we move to hopefully resecure the position. Now I fired off torpedoes at that Iowa, but that Iowa slammed on his brakes and he's started reversing now. And that was one of those things that I wasn't entirely sure what was gonna happen. I kind of suspected that might be the case, but I'm really disappointed that I wasn't able to plan for that. Where it becomes even more frustrating is as you can see, I'm inside of my torpedo range and that Iowa is still inside of my torpedo range. So I get both sets off and that's when I spot the Crow first up here and he's kind of just sitting in between that channel slowly backing up slowly going forward but really more or less just sitting in between that channel and if I had fired off my torpedoes at him I probably would have hit him. Our Missouri over there is just taking a big ol' torpedo hit from the enemy destroyers and there are in fact both of the remaining destroyers over there the Shimakaze and the Kigiro. Now as my torpedoes are getting out there, there is that Neptune. Can I hit him with torpedoes? Come on. Oh, so close. Not quite fast enough. But it looks like I'm going to hit that Iowa. Finally. Going to do some damage in this match. Come on. And no. Oh my god. My torpedoes ran out of steam just meters from that Iowa. He was probably shitting himself, accepting the inevitable and then realized how lucky he was. This aggravates me so much. 
Because that would have been fantastic. I would have hit him with at least four. Get uh, my next set of torpedoes off at that Izumo. Now you'll notice this time I shorted them, because that seems to be the prevailing case today. All of the ships seem to either be turning in or slowing down after I fire my torpedoes. And the Izumo, he's no different as he begins to turn in. So, hopefully, that shorted set will hit him. With any luck, it looks like the first set just barely missed, and it looks like, yes, I'm going to hit him for two, and there is finally my first damage of the game. You'll notice, though, I haven't opened fire with my guns. There are things within gun range, but the reason I haven't opened fire with my guns is because of that gun bloom. The result of firing my guns means that out to 15 kilometers I can be detected out to 10 kilometers by aircraft. So pretty much every single thing that I'm going to shoot at can shoot back at me, plus everything outside of my own gun range can shoot back at me as well. My team has managed to secure A, and while we are currently down on ships, we are still Still pretty equal on points because we have two count points now. Now, you'll notice that my damage counter is still going up, and in fact, I secured my kill, my first kill, on that Azumo, who pretty much flooded to death. So I don't know if he just didn't have damage control or damage repair at that particular moment, but that's kind of unfortunate. And kind of lucky for me, I never get to flood people to death. A little disappointed I didn't get a liquidator because that's one of those awards that I almost never get. As I always say, when I fire off torpedoes, I'm either going to hit you for a lot of damage or miss you completely. Now anyway, my torpedoes are almost up again, and I'm looking near, and it's kind of looking like that Iowa is headed this direction. So I am detected, and it took me a moment to figure out what was detecting me, and there's what it is. It's the Shimakaze. And of course, as you can see, the Z-52 almost instantly gets the focus of attention of the entire enemy team. I take shots in there from the Neptune, and I'm surprised to see that some of those actually bounced. I don't even know how that's possible. This destroyer doesn't do that. Trying to get shots out onto this Iowa, maybe set him on fire, do hit him for two torpedoes, cause some flooding. He's obviously going to repair that if he can and then I decide I'm going to shift fire switch over to armor piercing and try to take out the Neptune but just as I do he gets destroyed by friendly ships actually land a torpedo on the turpits behind that Iowa who gets taken out by guns just before I can finish him off so I finally started doing some damage, but most of it's really been kind of blind luck, as most of my shots are not doing as much damage as I would have liked. I do need to be careful, though, in this situation, because the enemy destroyers are still about, and of course, smoke screens are very dangerous. So I'm going to continue to fire, and it's about this moment that I realize my smoke screen's disappearing, and I'm detected. And it won't be long before me being detected is going to result in people aiming at me. The Crowfurst has got his secondary shooting at me, and that Turpitz over there, well, he's not going to let me get away. I only need to hit this guy with like one torpedo, but he dies before my torpedo reaches him. That's really disappointing. It would have been great to secure yet another kill. Now, I was still detected there, so I'm still taking shots in there. Can I hit this crowd first? Come on, almost. Yes. Managed to hit the crowd first. It looks like our gearing is also going to hit him for two and cause some damage. But that crowd first is one tough nut to crack. The advantage to the Z-52 over the gearing is that torpedo reload time. I mean, come on. I've got like a 70 second torpedo reload. So my torpedoes already up again. And I'm looking at the situation, and I'm trying to decide where this crowd first is going to go. I decide I'm going to go on the lead and long, because it looks like he's trying to speed up or straighten out. Of course, at this kind of range, though, if he does decide to stop or turn in, I don't have too long to wait. 
I had an issue with my Fletcher the other day where I fire off my torpedoes, they'd miss, and then I had to wait a minute and a half as the enemy closed in on me before I could fire them again. And it usually forced me to move rather than sit and wait. Enemy Kagiro has popped up. He's got torpedoes into that smokescreen where the gearing was, but the gearing has run off. Now, my torpedoes are almost there. I only need to hit that crowd first with one. I hit him with one, but it's not enough to kill him, and he actually gets taken out by the fires set by an allied ship. What the hell? Come on, RNG Jesus. I don't even get the kill for finishing him off with a fat torpedo. That just painful. Smoke screen up again. Enemy Zhao is shooting at me. I fire off shots at him. And I'm not entirely sure if he's going to continue going forward. So I actually keep one in reserve. And that's when a smoke screen pops up. So I know the enemy Shimikaze is back over there. And he's supplying smoke for his friendly ship. But this is actually good for me because you'll notice that nobody is spotting them anymore. And we do have ships in place that should be able to see them if they're not in the smoke screen. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take the opportunity to push up closer to that smoke screen. I do have hydro and it's a long lasting hydro. I also decide I'm going to pop my hydro because, well, the Zhao and the other Zhao that's now appeared there both have torpedoes. And of course, there's the Shimakaze who's just popped up due to aircraft. He also has torpedoes, and smoke screens are torpedo magnets, as you can see by my torpedoes and the torpedoes from the gearing. So I'm going to get one set off at where the other Zhao is heading. With any luck, I'll be able to hit him. Ooh, can I finish off this Zhao? Come on. Oh, he's almost dead. No. Another kill I was unable to secure. My shot seemed to be a little bit off, and that's partly because in this battle, I was playing with some serious lag. We're talking four and 500 millisecond lag situations, especially early on. Other Zhao gets taken out. Now it's just the Shimakaze. I'm a little disappointed, though. I've only managed to do one kill in this battle. But there's the Shimakaze. He's very low health, and I've got Hydro now. He's going to try and hide in his smoke screen, but I'm close enough. It's not going to matter. Can I kill him? Come on. Come on. There's not a lot of time left. We're going to win on points here shortly. He's almost dead. Other people are shooting at him. Come on. Give me the kill. Give me the kill. Yes. There it is. There's my two kills. 120,000 damage done in the battle. But as you saw there at the very beginning, my torpedoes were off. My aim was off. My situational awareness was dead on because I decided to bug out of sea when the Neptune started getting close and I noticed I didn't have any support from my teammates. That's about the only thing that I didn't lose. Not top of the team for XP earned. There were other people above me. Again, warships a perishable skill after coming back from two weeks. I'm more or less impressed that I wasn't able to um, that I was able to do as well as I was, considering how bad that beginning of the battle was for me. Anyway, that's it for today's video, folks. If you like the video, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below. If you'd like to get semi-regular channel news and updates, you can do so by liking and following my Facebook page. If you'd like to help support me and my channel, I encourage you to do so by visiting my Patreon. If you'd like to send a replay to me, you can do so by sending it to my email. And hopefully in the future, my internet will behave itself and I'll be able to do live streaming of World of Warships, among other games, on my Twitch channel. You can find the links for all of those in the video description down below. And remember folks, Warships is a perishable skill, so you should log on at least once in a while and get back up to speed. And as always, I'll see you next time. This is Captain Rye, signing off.